You see, what it means to be righteous is far greater than, than anything you can imagine. It's better than sex, it's better than money, it's better than jewelry. Righteousness is greater than wealth. Righteousness is greater than everything. Righteousness perfects the heart. Righteousness perfects the soul. Righteousness is the right choice to make. I've studied people, I've studied the way people think. I have looked around carefully with my falcon eyes. I have discerned the truth. I have winnowed out the wicked. I have dri driven the threshing wheel of God over the enemies of God. Righteousness is everything. As I have achieved a state of mind where God is all that matters. And as time went by since I first said that statement, I then said, God is all that matters still. And now I tell you, even now, even still, God is all that matters. They can try to take credit for what I'm saying. They can try to pretend that they trained me to their own disgrace. But my soul that God has perfected is where the mastery is found. Not in mere human movements, not in mere scientists who seek to have their hidden hand manipulating things. It is God's will and not a bunch of mischievous people in government groups and social clubs that has triumphed. Has triumphed over all the evils, all their paths, all their idols, all their masters. No servant can be greater. And to serve evil, it makes one low down, dirty, and no good. How can they who are low down, dirty, and no good, who turn a blind eye to rape by deception, who turn a blind eye to ch people cheating the top martial arts ever possible out of his right to lead, how can they then turn around and argue that they are the true masters magically? What kind of Harry Potter, Tom Sawyer, and Huckleberry Finn fantasy world do they live in? What kind of delusion have they accepted when they accepted the mark of the beast? The fruit of their wicked schemes, their backsliding, has driven them mad. They call good evil and evil good. They call sanity insanity and insanity sanity. I have triumphed over these people because with God I tried with all my heart. Try and triumph. Heart and he art. The smart path, the smart and the heart. They can say stupid, silly, immature words and try to mock, but they're just a mere mocker. What is a mocker to the top martial arts ever possible? If you saw a decent and noble woman, a woman with the utmost sharpness, would she choose some mocker who's mocking the most righteous man that ever lived, who's the top martial arts ever possible as he tries to get society to do the right thing? Or would she choose the top martial artist ever possible? This is not rocket science. This is not brain surgery, yet I'm the son of a brain surgeon. It doesn't take being the top martial arts ever possible to get this, yet I'm the top martial arts ever possible. I am not cocky. These things have to be said because you have lepers in your brain. You have a sickness in your brain. You have a spiritual disease that's rotting your brain and your, your brain function, your brain wiring is off. Your brain activity is off. And I love the world so much as to come to this rebellious, wicked planet and try to reason with these people. If I have done nothing wrong, which I have not, excuse me, which I have done nothing, I have done nothing wrong. They're making it still, I stumble on my speech. 